Well, here we are Sunday afternoon in the great northwest arid winterland of Idaho. 80 degrees today. This uh, Just yesterday morning, I uh, got up, it was 54 degrees. So, don't like the weather here in Idaho. Wait a minute, it'll change. So we're going to flip this around and find myself. A couple things I wanted to mention to everybody and stuff kind of briefly and quickly is um, once you guys live in the local area, eastern Washington, uh, western Idaho here on the border areas, <clears throat> this will be the first Mount Spokane ski swap and uh, Silver Mountain Lookout swap uh, that will happen uh, in October and November respectively. The 29th and 30th of October will be the uh, Mount Spokane swap at the fairgrounds. Uh, you, probably the week after will be the one in, in uh, the fairgrounds in Coeur d'Alene. Um, what does that mean to you? It means uh, since we didn't have one for the last two years, it's going to be probably a lot of stuff from the shops and from the people who wanted to kind of trade up, trade off, move gear around, help some of you people out with some lower prices. Um, it's going to be available. So take advantage of that. And uh, before you go, kind of think about it, what it is you're looking for, because you're pretty much on your own as far as, you know, the uh, the fit of boots, uh, the bindings that go with the boards, and so on and so on and so on. Won't be as many equipment representatives there, but uh, maybe each shop will have somebody in an area where they have a large portion of goods for sale. So I hope that works for you guys, because. Uh, we are moving towards the winter season, as we've said on many previous videos. And uh, get out there and get that stuff while you can. Uh, look online for stuff if you can. But honestly, if you want help with stuff, go into your local shops and uh, check them out. Uh, Shred Shed in Washington, Eastern Washington on the division is going to have a huge inventory of many of the brand name boards, Capita, Roxy, Burton, um, some Ride, uh, some GNU. Uh, just go online, check them out, see what they've got. Uh, also, you can look up the uh, Ski Shack in Hayden, Idaho. Uh, I know I was there talking to Julie, and she's got a ton of stuff coming up. I haven't been back to the uh, Silver Valley area on Mullen Avenue, which would be the Lookout Ski Shop, which is not part of Lookout Pass, but an independent business. Uh, all three of these places I highly recommend for good customer service and uh, things that'll help you. Uh, going beyond that, I'm gonna say that uh, the next part of this clip that I'm gonna put out here is gonna be about a question. Did anybody besides me have any trouble with the ride A-series bindings last season? Um, and my problems were uh, getting the aluminum disc with the total aluminum setup of that frame, that's why it's an A-series aluminum, uh, was very, very hard to get onto my uh, ride board, particularly my ride war pig. And the reason for that is because the ride board, and a lot of boards nowadays, goes from a very thin nose area, starts to taper up as my hands are doing here, to a wider section underfoot, and then tapers back down again. Well, that rise right there where your bindings go on, where your inserts are, is not flat and level across there. So taking that into account, the length of screws, which I will talk about on this video, I can tell you how to fix that and what I had to do, because I love my ride bindings, but I did not enjoy the process of learning what I had to do to get them on with the aluminum setup. I'll explain that later. Anyhow, hope you guys like this. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Stay with us. Uh, winter's coming. Get ready to shred ahead. We'll make life easier, simpler for you. And another thing you guys could do is comment back on the videos. Not so much maybe about the video, but what is it that you would like to see or have help with this season so we can actually go out and make those things for you. So with that, I'm gonna sign off now, check out whether I got myself in this, 
or I look really ugly or I look totally different. Uh, you might have noticed I did shave the goatee area down a little bit. Looks a lot more like fashionable instead of just rough and gruff. So out on that, later. Okay, what you're looking at here is the aluminum disc and the 15 millimeter screw for the washer on top provided by Bride for the setup. Here is the plastic disc. Notice that there's some cutouts in that disc which allow that 15 millimeter screw and washer to be more even with the top, which means lengthwise it is actually somewhat doable. Uh, this is what you receive from Ride. Uh, on the left is the uh, uh, plastic disc composite. On the right is the metal one. The two screws in the middle, the one with the washer, is the one that provides the 15 millimeter or M6 screw. The one on the left provided the 20 millimeter, and I bought that separate. So as we look through this system here, you can see that one had the inserts with a cutout. Those cutouts right there are not deep enough for you to allow the washer to sink down to make the reach through to the board and the deck itself. So therefore, we've got a distance difference. There's one. Buy yourself a 20 millimeter screw like the one on the left and you will be able to use it to start your disc down into the deck, the deck and pull the binding piece down. This is what I had to do on my very own, 20 millimeter screws on one side without washers, and the supplied ones on the other were then able to make the reach to the board, to the inserts, and away I go. So I hope this was helpful.